Welcome back another episode. Don't forget to subscribe. The Hobbit and its monster were mentioned in The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, which also addressed some of the issues raised by the Peter Jackson trilogy. With the rights to adapt Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, The Rings of Power Season 2 has been slaying epic monsters, many of which are taken directly from the fantasy author's works. Episode 4 of Season 2 introduced a powerful worm creature. This creature is reminiscent of a scenario from The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, even if it isn't as well known as Shelob, the Ents, or the Barrow Whites. In addition to introducing Tolkien creatures like Ents and Shelob to the world, Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit trilogies also unveiled a lesser-known monster. The movies were allowed to adapt the same content that was used in the show. A massive worm monster that resembled a sandworm from Dune emerged from the ground in The Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies. Although this monster was a contentious addition to the film and had only a passing connection to Tolkien, the Rings of Power's worm monster appears to be the same creature and offers insightful information about it. A potential origin for the Hobbit's worm monsters is provided by the Rings of Power. Elf Arendir described the worm monster from Season 2 of the Rings of Power as a nameless thing, which raises the possibility that Jackson's monster was one of these. Nameless objects are not well known, although Gandalf came across some of them in his battle with the Balrog. Gandalf clarified in the Lord of the Rings book that the world is gnawed by nameless things far, far below the deepest delving of the dwarves. Not even Sauron is aware of them. Their age surpasses his. This unnamed creature attacked Isildur and pulled him into the muck, but Arendir overcame it. As a result, viewers were given a new perspective on the creatures that eat the earth. Given that this worm beast burrows underground like the animals Gandalf described, it makes sense that it has no name. Though it appears that Rings of Power added its own interpretation to Gandalf's nameless things, the creature is strikingly similar to the worm from the Battle of the Five Armies. In a questionable fidelity to the original, Gandalf referred to Jackson's worm in the film as a were-worm. It makes a little more sense to think of the creature in the movie as a nameless thing. The dialogue amongst the Lord of the Rings adaptations pays homage to the essence of Tolkien's writing, which layered myth, mystery, and truth upon myth. Inventing a Metabox series that viewed each book as a publication of characters within the narrative and developed an internal myth system, J.R.R., Tolkien was ahead of his time. The narrative found in The Hobbit was penned by Bilbo in his Red Book of Westmark. Tolkien created a Mythopoeia, an enigmatic collection of made-up myths, by using a biased viewpoint to mask the reality. The on-screen incarnations of the legendary worm beast mesh well with this mythology. After Frodo finished this Red Book of Westmark, it contained the narrative of the Lord of the Rings. Similarly, Tolkien acknowledged that many of the essays, poetry, and stories he authored about Middle-earth were penned by elvish minstrels or scribes. Tolkien allowed the possibility of several versions of the truth by portraying his stories as somewhat biased. Jackson was now free to experiment with the notion that Bilbo's folktale was true. As a result, Rings of Power was able to use Jackson's monster as a model for their own worm monster. The Silmarillion was published by Tolkien's son following his death, and subsequently, alternate versions of the published stories in the universe of the Lord of the Rings were published. This illustrated the progression of the narrative and clarified the editorial decisions taken for the Silmarillion. Several additional and alternate tales were found to be just as relevant as the Silmarillion do of inconsistencies. All of it somehow contributed to the creation of a larger myth. More power to adaptations that can capture this framework. The monster in The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 belongs to a legendary Tolkien tradition, whether it is a werewolf, an unnamed entity, or both. For more videos, subscribe.